Okay, seriously you guys, this is the cutest thing ever. They are do-it-yourself puzzles made from wood blocks. You've gotta try this. Hey, hey you guys, it's Christina with the Purple Alphabet and I wanna show you this fun way to make a customized and do-it-yourself wooden puzzle. I picked up these square blocks at Michael's, I believe. There's um, more than you'll need in the pack. You're gonna get, need some Mod Podge and a little brush to put on your Mod Podge and then a picture of your choice. So whatever you want the puzzle to be, we are into Daniel Tiger. So Daniel Tiger is what I'm gonna choose, but you can use anything you want, including a picture of your child, which would be really great to do. So you won't believe how incredibly easy this is. I printed out the picture from the internet and I cut it to almost size. And for my puzzle, I'm gonna use nine blocks. I'm gonna put a layer of Mod Podge directly over the top so it can act as my glue. And then of course we place Mr. Daniel Tiger right over the top. And I'm gonna take this opportunity to cut him down to size. So I went ahead and cut off the excess and I'm gonna do a thin layer across the top, making sure to get the edges as well. You don't want it to be too thick. Now this is a great activity to do with older children as well, not just the preschooler age. Older children can help pick out the picture, cut it down to size, and it's a great craft to do. And then the last step is to let him dry. And after the glue has dried, you will get a really nice look and you can go ahead and cut your blocks apart with an X-Acto knife. Check it out, you guys. It turned out absolutely adorable. I'm really happy with it. I do recommend that once you cut your pieces apart, go ahead and do another coat of Mod Podge just to seal in all of the edges and make sure that everything is well attached. But this is super cute. Just think of all the possibilities you can do with this. Click subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Give me a thumbs up to show your love and I'll see you next time and print them out and use them. This makes a great busy bag. They are just flashcards and what you do is match them up.